If you like my videos, please like them, subscribe, hit the bell icon to receive notifications. That will actually help me get monetized through YouTube. I'd rather be working, so contact me and you can book some off-ice lessons. A lot of people have been complaining that their backs, specifically their lower backs, this area, has been bothering them. Your psoas muscle attaches your upper body to your lower body. And think of it like a belt that wraps around and connects the area is also called hip flexors. If you have pain in here, pain and tightness, chances are that is your psoas muscle. So one of the things I wanted to talk to you about today is how to relieve some of that pain. Now the very first thing we're gonna do is just a basic relaxation position. And Ashlyn is already there, as you can see. She's probably a little annoyed that I'm using her chair. So you do need a chair for this. And what we're going to do is lay on a mat. If you have a mat, use it. Put our legs up on the chair. We have a, a 90 degree angle. Hi, Ash. We're gonna keep our the small of our back flat on the floor. We're gonna do this for about 30 seconds. Just breathe normally. Now we're gonna do it while breathing. Deep, good, deep breathing. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Keep the small of your back on the floor. This takes a little bit of extra work. chair back so she's not upset with me and we're gonna do some knee rocking side to side get into a neutral spine if you need to kind of rock around and find it we're just gonna put our arms out and rock our knees from side to side try to keep your back on the floor if it's tight that might be hard and you might not have a big range of motion that's okay side to side. Again, hips in line with the feet, feet in line with the hips, shoulders in line.
knee to the opposite shoulder. Now we do this in our dynamic warm-up with kicks. This is a little bit uh, more delicate because we're talking about having a back that's in pain or maybe strained. So we're going to do this nice and slow. start on one hinging one side so hinge one side down hinge the other side extensions. I'll stand sideways for you. We're going to reach up to the sky. Extend our back. Don't push too hard. Just want a little stretch. If you feel pain, stop. This doesn't work for everybody. This is just what I found works for me. safe at home and your back is tight and, and you're feeling some pain, these are some things you can do several times a day that will take some of the stress off. Also make sure that you keep moving. If you have stairs in your house and can go up and down the stairs holding onto the railing, you don't have to run, just go up and down the stairs. Move around as much as possible. You can work out off ice with me. I do virtual classes off ice. Just contact me, I'm happy to provide that for you. If you do have an outdoor area in your yard or a park nearby that's open and you can walk in, I would highly recommend that everybody keep moving because aches and pains do happen when you're sitting around watching Netflix or sitting around working or sitting around doing schoolwork. So I really, really hope that you all keep moving during this time where we're all staying at home. Remember, wash your hands, stay home, keep your distance, and be safe. I'll see you real soon.